There are lots of reasons why our blood flow may be decreased such as a congenital circumstance or an eye injury. Different conditions along with diabetes could also be reasons of blood flow issues throughout the body, and of course, the eyes also are affected by this trouble. Getting a few structural defects in the eye can be considered as a probable reason of glaucoma. For example, a few people get a narrow angle between the cornea and the iris, which can also contain in fluid drainage. The pressure in the eye might also cause damages that result in glaucoma. Getting a previous eye injury or eye surgery can purpose harm to the eye, which makes the fluid drain improperly. After a time period, this could purpose optic nerve harm, that is one of the most common causes of glaucoma. Aside from structural defects, there are also multiple syndromes which could cause glaucoma. And pseudoexfoliation syndrome is the most common syndrome associated with glaucoma. Whilst this syndrome occurs, flakes of fibrous materials may also peel off the eye's lens. The material may prevent the fluid drainage from the eye and at the same time, increase the strain, which could cause glaucoma. Whilst high intraocular pressure is related to glaucoma, this eye condition also happens while the eye pressure is normal. People with this eye circumstance get pressure sensitive optic nerves which are vulnerable to harm from what might be considered as normal intraocular pressure. A few different conditions may purpose the improvement of glaucoma such as sickle cell disorder, hypothyroidism, sleep apnea. Individuals who suffer from certain medical conditions should have more screening for glaucoma as they're at higher risk of getting the glaucoma. In an observe reported in 2007, researchers indicated a common reason of both Alzheimer's, which creates memory loss and mind lesions, and glaucoma. They determined that the buildup of a protein referred to as beta amyloid within the retina of the eye and in brain tissue occurs to be concerned in improvement of both Alzheimer's and glaucoma. The steroid risk main to glaucoma happens to be related to the routed administration. In line with the circumstance being handled steroids may be provided orally through eye drops or a nasal spray. Inhaled steroids occur to get the lowest affiliation with the glaucoma development. Oral steroids suffered for a long term may cause glaucoma in some cases. Steroids topically administered into the eye give the highest risk of developing glaucoma. 